For the most part, cyberspace is unregulated. The U.S. has an interest in a internet that is global, open, secure, and interoperable. The United States has tried to promote those values through rules of the road. The challenges are that other states um, have their own norms and, and promote a different vision of cyberspace. For example, uh, China has promoted a norm of cyber sovereignty, which is that every state has the right to uh, rule its own uh, cyberspace in the ways that they see fit, and that cyberspace is not an open global platform. The history of cooperation and competition uh, between the United States and China is fairly long. We saw the first Chinese cyber espionage campaigns against the United States in the early 90s. The U.S. has mounted a campaign against the alleged hacking of uh, U.S. companies from uh, China state-based hackers. We had a breakthrough uh, in September of 2015 uh, when the two sides signed an agreement that said neither side will knowingly support or tolerate the cyber-enabled theft of intellectual property. China also thinks about how you might use a cyber attack during a military conflict, but the Chinese criticize the United States for setting up cyber command for militarizing cyberspace. The Chinese have asserted that they have a historical claim uh, to many islands, corals, and reefs in the South China Sea, and they have been building them up um, or positioning uh, bases um, and sending patrols through the area. The United States has taken no official position on the actual sovereignty claims, but its interest is in freedom of navigation, uh, in the ability to send commercial vessels through uh, the area and also military vessels. Part of it is to set a precedent so other countries don't try to exert uh, similar sovereign controls. Uh, some of it is in support of, of U.S. allies in the region. The United States could become involved in a conflict in the South China Sea, both through miscalculation and in support of its allies. Because the U.S. Uh, insists on sending ships uh, and airplanes close to Chinese forces, there is a chance there could be a collision uh, or a mistake. Once that began, patriotic hackers could get involved and, and deface uh, U.S. websites, and then we could have a quick escalation. Uh, Some thing could happen uh, with the U.S. support of an ally. A country like the Philippines might get involved uh, in an incident where U.S. forces would have to come to uh, the Philippines' response because of its treaty agreement. There are three policy options which can be used individually or in some combination. The first would be to counter cyber attacks with equivalent cyber attacks. The second policy response would be punitive sanctions, perhaps uh, on Chinese companies or travel restrictions on individuals. And then the third would be uh, in the military sphere to increase U.S. operations in the South China Sea or to increase the capabilities of U.S. allies. We have um, increasingly states using cyberspace for conflict, for influence, for trade, but there are no accepted universal rules for uh, what that conduct should be.